we have a kind of slide rule. And we have a guy called Isambard Kingdom Brunel. A name like that people take him very seriously. So there it is. He builds a bridge over the River Avon or in, the, in, 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 the, in England. I think it's a particularly beautiful bridge. He built it for horse and carts. And today, heavy lorries and cars still drive over it. An absolutely magnificent example of a piece of engineering. Not a computer in sight, but a calculator, yes, as I said with a slide rule. Let's go 140 years forward. Not so high, in fact, you could almost touch it. No cars, no lorries. Just people. And one of the world's most advanced and famous engineering companies in the world, Arab Foster and Partners, have built some amazing structures. In fact, Foster's just built the, uh, the new law building here in Antwerp. The new... Check the bill. <laughs> this bridge, the Millennium Bridge, surprise, surprise, designed to be built for the year 2000. Opened in 2000 and it wobbled. You walk across and it was kind of like this. It was an absolute disaster. Said, yeah, yeah, it's designed to move. And after 20 minutes they said, yeah, let me better close it. <laughs> so the kids thought it was great. Two years later, do you know, on this bridge they even showed it on the BBC about how wonderful it was going to be. And they had all the, uh, you know, the 3D computer graphics and all the wind tunnel. Oh, it was amazing. Two years later, they changed the shock absorbers underneath and they, God knows what they did with all the pins, and now it doesn't model anymore. So let's just, there we go, 1864, no computers yet, no modeling, anything like that. Bonk, 140 years. We have to keep what we're doing in perspective. We like to think that we're smarter than the previous generations. I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so. We like to think that we are, but we're not. We're just different. We have different technologies, we're different, a different economy, and we have different challenges upon us. Would I rather live then? No, I certainly wouldn't. 